Do you know who I am? Of course you do. In Peru, last year was particularly bountiful for me. The country with the most deaths per capita and the worst response to the pandemic. And I got to reap almost 200,000 souls. However, some oppose my zealous mission. Like Peru Te Quiero, Peru I Love You, a citizens movement created to fight against the pandemic that brought to life three celebrities I had reaped long ago, but who insist on being immortal. Using deep fake technology, they brought them back to life. These were first, Miguel Grau, national hero, declared Peruvian of the millennium. With no film records of him, his performance was based on this photograph. Second, Chabuca Granda, the most universal of all Peruvian female singer-songwriters. To bring her back to life, the production was based on an interview from the 70s. And third, Daniel Pareto, the sports voice of a country that was returning to a soccer World Cup after 36 years, but his premature demise prevented him from narrating it. All three came back to ask all Peruvians not to join them. Y para decirles, no quiero que te unas a mí. Te pido que no te me unas aún. Grau stirred our national conscience. Yo, aunque nunca morí, volvería a morir para salvarte. Chabuca, the mother of all Peruvians, drew attention to sanitary measures. El Perú los necesita vivos. And Barreto cheered us towards hope. Para remontar este marcador y poder decirnos que... ¡Un gol más va a ver! Their resurrection was followed by all followers on social media, who were even able to chat with them on Twitter. The results, much as it pains me, enlivening. More than 9 million people impacted organically, a conversation ratio of 4.6%, positive and neutral sentiment of 70%, and earned media in the amount of $640,000. I must confess that I was surprised, because everyone understood that in order to beat the virus, people had to remain united, and that to remain united, they could not join them. Te amo. Peru